So, so this is a pressure sensitive keyboard. And the way that this is manufactured, so I have this uh, unscrewed so you can take a look. So you can see it looks almost identical to a standard keyboard, right? You have still the same silicone domes up on top. Um, so nothing yeah. different there. And three sheets of Mylar, just as before. A top layer, a bottom layer, and a spacer layer in between with holes so that when the key comes down, the nub and the silicone presses down and forces the top layer to touch the bottom one through that middle one. Yep. But what's different about this is now instead of just being printed with silver ink, and, and this is just done like making t-shirts, it's screen printed, uh, you print carbon ink, oh. which is resistive. And um, when this top piece of carbon here comes down and hits the bottom one, uh, initially that little nub hits right in the center and it just touches right there. And as you press harder, it kind of conforms into the hole and then it makes more and more contact along there. And it's almost like a, a wiper on a potentiometer, that you're okay. decreasing the resistance as you, you physically connect more and more of that, that length there, so you shorten that resistor. And this is just a little test program I threw together. So if you can press a key, right, you press it a little bit harder. So it's a true analog sort of measurement. On many keyboards, you know, you can't press multiple keys at the same time and still have them all register. Right. Um, on this one, you can press all of them. Oh, and in wow. fact, they're all independently measuring the force on every single key. All right, so the question is, what do you do with it? Right. right? And there are lots of different things you could do with it. Um, let me start with uh, kind of, in some ways, a, a kind of whimsical application. So this is our, our um, emotional instant messaging uh, pretend app, <laughs> right? So when people are IMing, um, most of the IM clients will let you change the font size and you know, make it bold, whatever, uh, so that you convey more emotion with your text. But Generally, people don't do that because they're trying to have a quick conversation. Uh, well, what if now you could express that emotion instantaneously while you're texting? So you can say, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so just by pressing harder. So here, literally every key, you know, it's just taking the maximum force I ever have on it. Interesting. So now, is that relative? In other words, does it, say I'm just a heavy typist. Yep. Could it gauge and say that's your base level and then work from there and Absolutely, say... Absolutely, okay. because it, you know, it's actually reading with a, quite a bit of resolution. Yeah. Um, in this prototype, there's actually a 10-bit A to D conversion inside. It, it crunches that down to 8 bits to ship it out to the PC. But, um, so 256 you know, levels externally, you know, 1,000 or so inside. Um, you've actually got a lot of resolution you can play with. We can actually trim, you know, by changing the sensor design a little bit, and we're still playing with that, we can change what those levels actually are. But right now they range from really light to ludicrously hard. Yeah. This is a little goofy. You would not want to do this in Microsoft Word, right? If you're writing a document, you know, uh, you know this is our annual report, yeah. uh, you certainly don't want character right. sizes changing every single character. Right. Um, but there are features that you might want to use a uh, pressure sensitive keyboard for. So here's one trivial example. Uh, the backspace key here, if you press it lightly, it does a single character at a time, but if you press it a little harder, it does a word at a time. Oh, yeah. So the basic idea is that pressing a, a key harder does more of that thing. Yep. Very intuitive, you know, very straightforward sort of thing. For general typing, I, I'm a lousy typist, so one of the things that I do all the time is I'll hit a, a key and accidentally hit the key next to it a yep. little bit. Um, that, you know, especially if you're typing fast, that happens all the time. And it turns out that if you look at, you know, what people do in that, most of the time they hit the key that they meant much harder than the key next to it, the accidental one. And so, you know, if you put this into a spell checker, right, you know, it might not know whether it was hot or got, but by looking at the pressure information, you've got a pretty good idea that, you know, oh, I meant hot. Yeah, you know, a little piece of sample test code, so not, nothing particularly nice here, but just showing how you move around in the game. And here are the A, S, D, and W keys, and, and the space bar are active. So I can move forward, and if I do it lightly, I creep, and if I press a little harder, I can speed up and go real fast, right? I can do the same thing side to side, and because it, it is true multi-touch, I can go wiggle around side to side by doing front and side at the same time. I can take little jumps, or I can take big jumps. Okay, <laughs> and you just hit the space bar just a little bit harder. Than yep. So it, it really is proportional control. It's almost like having a bunch of joysticks on your keyboard. Yep. So this is great, and I, I know for now, though, it's still a research project, right? Yes. So I'm sure the question that everyone always asks <laughs> is, when, when am I going to be able to go to my local computer store and buy a pressure-sensitive keyboard yeah, from I Microsoft? I wish I could answer that yeah. question. Um, <laughs> so, 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 the, so, the, so the answer I'm supposed to give is, uh, we don't have a product announcement to make at this time. <laughs> yes, at this time. At this time being the key Microsoft yes. plus. <laughs> I think they've got that hot keyed in some versions of Word here on the Microsoft yes. campus. 